So here's a nice example on the proportionality theorem, which includes a few more parallel lines. So what I always tell students, because otherwise it's going to be really overwhelming or too open-ended, is to go straight to the question. The question says find ED, which is this one over here. What I then suggest is to find a triangle that contains parallel lines and ED is one of the halves. What I mean by a half is it's either this, 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 or that. So if you look in this triangle over here, you can see ED is a part of that triangle. So we know from the question statement that AE is equal to 3 centimeters. So let's quickly fill that in. So AE is 3 centimeters and AG to GF is 2 to 1. So AG is going to be two parts. So I'm going to say 2x and then GF is 1x. Notice because it's a ratio, I have to say x. And then if the question gave me a different ratio somewhere else, I would use a different letter. So I'd say like 3y and 4y, for example. So let's form a ratio with ED. So we know that ED over AE, see because I'm working in that big blue triangle, will be the same as what? Well, ED matches BC and AE matches AB. Then I'm going to say prop theorem and then I must use the parallel lines. Well, the parallel lines that I used would be BE and CD. Now with that ratio with the ED over AE, we already know what AE is. They've told us that in the question statement. They said that that's 3. We don't have to say 3x because they told us it's a actual length. And then BC over AB. So what is getting in the way? Because we're trying to find ED at the end of the question. And so if we had BC over AB, well then we would have the answer because we would be able to get ED by itself. So what I then tell students to do is try find BC over AB. So now we need to try look for a triangle that would give us BC over AB. So have a look at this triangle over here. In that triangle, we can get AB over BC very easily because there's parallel lines. So we can say that AB, sorry, we want to start with BC because that's what we have here. So we say BC over AB will be the same as, well, BC matches GF. So we'll say FG or GF, it's up to you. And then AB, well, that's going to match AG. But now we have FG and AG, so I can fill that in. So BC over AB is the same as FG, which is 1X over AG, which is 2X. Notice that the X's cancel, and so BC over AB is 1 over 2. Oh, and the reason for that was the prop theorem. And which lines were parallel for that triangle? Well, that's BG is parallel to CF. Now that we have BC over AB, we can plug it back over here. So we can carry on with the question, which is ED over 3 was equal to BC over AB, but BC over AB is now 1 over 2. And so we can then do cross multiplication. And so we end up with ED is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times by 3. Therefore, ED is going to be equal to 3 over 2. So in summary, you always want to start at the question. So the question was ED. So straight away, we we try to work out a triangle that has ED. And what we found was that the big triangle had ED. So we said that ED over AE, because AE we have, is equal to BC over AB. So can you see the opposites? ED is opposite to BC. And remember, we're looking at these parallel lines now. And then AE was the same as AB. So that's why we have this and this over here. Then we realized that we don't have BC over AB. We did have AE, that was 3. So then we went and found BC over AB. So we worked in this triangle where we saw that BC over AB, so BC is opposite GF and AB is opposite 
AG. Now AG and GF were given to us in terms of ratios and so that allowed us to find BC over AB. Once we had BC over AB we substituted it back over here and that allowed us to find ED.